just have a little bit of reference to like the intro for sure. Yeah, yeah. I like how nothing's changed. We're still season two, giant jackass, and everything is just the same. Hey, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to season two of Best of Five. Is yes. that was happening? Yeah, any guys. Hey, guys, Absolutely. welcome back. I can't even talk anymore. It's been a month, and I have, still can't speak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we have a very special guest today. The one and only Winter. Maybe. The two and only. I don't know, because there's two of you guys. Armando. Armando. So hello, everybody. For, hello. Waving for those, physically on the video. For those who don't know who Armando is, he is a local artist here from Greeley, Colorado. Originally from Sombrerete, Zacatecas. Yep. I am a... I am a He's the mixed, pink guy. I am a mixed individual. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us, man. I hope you... Quick question for you guys. Okay. When 16 it, inches. When you think about season two, does that mean that it's summer, spring, or fall? Uh, it's perma spring in my head. Because in Colorado, when it's springtime, it's pretty much just all of the seasons anyway. Mm, that's a pretty good answer. Well, with, with the pandemic, it's just winter. Just yeah. Deadness and, yeah. and sadness. God, that was Oh, really so it's dark. just me on the inside. Yes. That makes sense. All right, cool. Summer is just when you like. I'm going to have to move because you, you're behind spring. me now. <laughs> Maybe I'll just look at you through the camera. Yeah. Yeah, this is our first uh three way podcast. Uh so third third three way. Third? Third. Yeah, third. But oh, I mean ours. first first for yes. the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Years, yeah. Of season two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> that's why we took a month off, actually, so that's fine. It's not what I was told. Yeah, but again, thanks thanks for joining us, man. Uh I yeah. Hope, I hope you have fun and uh Yeah, I've been listening to these things. It's super what, fun. What do you think? Uh fun. Uh I have a lot of thoughts. Uh, one is Chris tends to get bullied a lot. That's not true. No. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. Um, if anything, he shits on me more than any more than anyone actually. Yeah, but that's everyone's favorite part. <laughs> it's okay. Like it's okay. <laughs> he gets bullied, but also like he's also right. He doesn't. Get... <laughs> so he does not get. It bullied. works that's out. Bullshit. Like that's. <laughs> oh, perfect. Well, started off exactly where we where we uh, yeah, left where off we left off. So. Uh, also, we have a very special hat that Armando brought in today for our yeah. random topics. Yeah, so quick little plug, but also you said it really good earlier, Chris. Um, my hat doesn't represent the feelings or <laughs> oh, sayings yeah. of the yeah. podcast, something like that. Yeah, yeah. The, um, opinion, the opinions ex- expressed are solely for specified pop- podcasts yeah, yeah. and not yeah. for our sponsors. Yeah, we just want to give a little shout out to Greeley Hatworks. As you, if you can see, if you're watching, I'm wearing a nice little hair hat here. And then I got my Artmondo, my artist alter ego sort of hat that we're going to be drawing out of today. I went ahead and wiped it down, gentlemen, with some Clorox wipes and all that stuff. So make sure you guys didn't get into that. I don't know that hair hair sweat. Yeah, that not that bald hair sweat. How long have you had that hat for? It acts like as a greenhouse effect. It just gets sucked up in there. All the all the carbon emissions are stuck. Yep. (laughs) This is like a. Like almost eight years in the making with this hat, it's full say, of paint and everything. So I was gonna nice. say, like, I think I lived with you when you first got that hat. That's like your first, like, yeah, I was like hat. weird flex G, but all right. I was like red. I mean, I know the guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, without further ado, let's get started with the subjects. All right. Um, Armando, you want to go ahead and draw the first one? Yeah, let me shuffle. Yeah, like, get a little... you want me to draw it? It's like Pictionary. Yeah, pretty much, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's not Pictionary. Uh, charades. Charades. Okay, here we go. This... Round one. Uh, All right, what's the first subject, my man? First subject, kind of going back in time here a little bit, which is weird. Um, cheesy Christmas Halloween movies. So I'm guessing either or, like Christmas or Halloween movies. Hmm. And this is a shout out to Megan, it looks like. Yeah. That uh, put this in the hat. So shout out to you, Megan. And uh, you guys kind of you guys kind of touched on some of this stuff a little bit, not because it was movies, but just because it was Christmas. Yeah, because it was Christmas. Time. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, timer's going or no? We had to yet. put the timer. I'm making Chris in charge of all of this now. Because I'm the only one that can reach. Yeah. Just to say, che- <laughs> well, I guess it's so nice to discuss. Cool. Yeah. So all just, right. yeah, I guess not favorite, but just kind of like one of those you're just going to like wait. like. What? Yeah, let's just sit. Let's go. I'm ready. Uh, yeah, pretty much every like Christmas yeah. movie is like a white cut, like are two white, like middle-aged people that are single on the holidays get together at the end of the movie. That's like 80% of the Christmas movies. I mean, you're movies. talking about just a rom-com. Elf isn't like that. Well, I guess yeah. Elf is kind of like that. But is yeah. Elf cheesy? It. But I don't think Elf is that cheesy. He's kind it's of middle-aged. It's just terrible. Right. That's a good movie. Um, I think it's all cheesy, though, right? 
Yeah, like, if it's a holiday themed movie, it's pretty cheesy just by nature, I would think. Because it's really forced to be that, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would agree. Um, Halloween. The only thing that comes to mind is Halloween Town. Not even Hocus Pocus. I'm not a big Hocus Pocus guy. But also, G wow. doesn't watch Halloween movies. Yeah, so, G doesn't like scary things. And even if they're That's cheesy true. scary, he's like, nah, I'm still good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hocus Pocus is scary. So apparently this podcast is just going to be two of my really good friends just shitting on me. So <laughs> what about, have fun with this one. It's going to be great. Just in general, all of like, and I used to love watching these, like, especially kind of my teenage years, like right around when you were watching Doug, but all the Halloween specials of all the oh, cartoons yeah, yeah, and all yeah. the Disney movie stuff. I mean, the Treehouse of Horror is always pretty good. That's probably my favorite Simpsons like episodes. Mm, where be the Treehouse? I, I agree. Oh, yeah, I didn't know if that was what it's called. Did I see how that deep that goes? I was like, oh yeah, the Halloween Simpsons. Yeah, yeah. They have names. No, they have like they have like. I think every season has had one since the beginning of of of, uh, of time of because time, it's that old. Yeah. Cheesy but. Halloween, uh, Christmas. So drag me to hell was a terrible one. It's not really. Uh, a it's Halloween movie, so to speak. Drive but, me to hell. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of like just cheesy, scary movies in general. Going back on Ginger Dead Man, but. Oh, yeah. You went on that rant for a minute. I we're did not, go doing, on that we're not going back minute, to that one. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to let that one go. The Ernest movies considered <laughs> Actually, cheesy. You know I think Ernest wins both categories yeah, at that point. Ernest, yeah. Ernest is a champion of all movies. <laughs> is it Ernest uh, Scared Stupid? Is that the first one? I couldn't tell you, dude. I <laughs> Who don't... is Ernest, by the way? I, I have know. no idea what He's that is. He's like an older Screech or something. And R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not a big fan of, of Christmas movies as it is, so it's kind of hard to see like which one's cheesy. So do you have like a favorite cheesy one? Elf is my favorite Christmas movie. Um, the Grinch is actually pretty cheesy, but it's like oh, a God. good cheesy. Yeah. Yeah. I think just that story in general is really cheesy, but I think overall, like, it's a decent enough Christmas movie. I that was know. like the cheese, it was like a cheese conglomerate, like... Uh, I was going to say he's been sure, but it's Jim Carrey. <laughs> Jim, Jim Carrey meets Same. like the Grinch. The Grinch. Like, <laughs> Jim Carrey meets the Grinch. Yeah. Like for that and that that time for that to come out, that's mm-hmm. almost like a cult classic cheesy like, oh, yeah, holiday right. kind of thing. I right? agree with you. So I think when it comes to the Grinch, I think what makes it cheesy is the production of it because it's like it was during a time where like CGI was just becoming a thing. So like animated movies would, would be doing that, you know. Um <laughs> And then, but then you had like it, it felt so play like like a play, right? Like with like the set pieces and everything, it just felt yeah. extremely like. Yeah, I can agree with that. You know? It like it definitely took the text of like the story, and translated it almost like a play for that movie. I can see what you're saying. Like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a Universal Studios, like a, a like, 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 yeah, like a ride that had literally all the set pieces from that. Just like ah, just yeah, we're just move it there and that'll be fine. Yeah, and I'd ride yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, of course you would. <laughs> Mm. I'd jump mm. on it. So, do you have ride a it, cheesy ride. favorite, Chris? Um, I honestly am a huge fan of cheesy movies in general, but like just holiday themed movies, I can't stand at all because they all just end up the same. <laughs> like, kind of how I was saying, like all the Hallmark movies, it's like give me insert... the Turbo Man doll, like yeah, that one, yeah, yeah, Turbo Man or uh, Jingle All the Way, mm-hmm. Jingle All the Way, dude. That's actually that's another should one. I just yeah, called it Turbo Man? Yeah, Turbo Man. The greatest movie from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, sorry about to, Christmas. Uh, and sorry to interrupt. You mean of Sinbad? Yeah, <laughs> he's the star of the movie, yeah, bro. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like that one. That one's not really that cheesy, but again, because it's a holiday movie, there's just an insert level of cheese factor that's just automatically into it. Hmm. Is there a decade of like? Where cheesiness was like the worst, not, not, not even not even like in, like in like Christmas or Halloween. It was probably like the late nineties. I, I was say. gonna say like nineties for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's because I don't know. They just tried to make it too cartoony, I guess, and that's what made it more cheesy. Yeah. I guess what well, I mean the nineties itself was very much exaggerated comedy. I mean, you look at like Adam Sandler, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, Chris uh, Farley, Jim Carrey, Jim yeah. Carrey. Like going back on that. Yeah. So, what it's movie a... are you gonna shit on, G? Because this this is like the perfect topic for G to be like. I hate this popular garbage shit of like holiday cheese movies that people have to watch. Yeah, what's your what's your hipster hate hatred <sighs> movie for Christmas? I oh, man, I can't even think. Is that that's that bad? Rudolph, I hate Rudolph. I can say it that. scares the hell Just out of me. The, the claymation the one, claymation oh, the claymation scares you. All of those. Yeah. All uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, I think, is a trash oh, movie. I hate that. Oh man. Sorry, I have a buddy Tyler Pills who's obsessed with it. I oh, we're gonna get it, shit but, uh, on so good. good I, I don't so. like that movie either. I don't like what it. Make up your mind. Yeah. yeah. Is you? it Christmas? Is it a Halloween? 
I don't, you is know it, what that is? You know, it, is it Christmas or Halloween? You know what that movie's for? That movie's for legit people that can't wait to fucking decorate their house <laughs> until after Thanksgiving. Dude, it's that's... like it's like their excuse to be like, "Well, I love Halloween and I love Christmas, so let's there just watch go, Christmas." Yeah. Oh, oh man, get so I don't like it. One. I was like, as a kid, it just freaked me out. So I was like, "Who is this for?" So it's obviously for older people. And then if you're like older watching it, that makes a lot of sense to what G's saying. Like. How many of those people did you know in high school where their entire personality revolved around Nightmare Before Christmas sweatpants? <laughs> How many people can you name off the top of your head? I mean, at least I, one. Yeah, actually, not name. I could just picture them. Yeah, for sure, I know like three like, people. Like like early day of leggings, they just have like that that yeah yeah just like the little. This is super Jack judgy, Lincoln. but a, a lot of their last names started with a Mick. <laughs> Like a make something like yeah oh but hey it was not you know i'm esl so i couldn't even understand half of those things the, the, those things like cartoons or I, it's whatever that is yeah, yeah i don't know what to call it i will say that because of that movie i can't watch any tim burton movies they all they all freak me out because they're of all that the movie. same yeah. do you not even watch tim burton's batman no, I can't. Yeah, like, it's Penguin, literally Penguin's... Nightmare Before Christmas, but with Batman instead. And Danny DeVito, because <laughs> it's in Christmas. It's during Christmas time, right? Yeah, I think yeah, it is. Uh, so that's the cheesiest Christmas movie. Yeah, the cheesiest Christmas. Mo- oh, Die Hard, cheesiest Christmas movie. Mm. Oh, look at that time. It's time. Yeah. So just let us know what you guys think uh, are the cheesiest movies, and if if you're a fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, I would apologize. But yeah, I would apologize too. But fuck you guys. <laughs> Yep. Round two. All right, second subject. Armando, are you ready for this one? Yeah, uh-huh. what do you got there, G? This one's a little history for you. Alphabetical order, please. Like do you, like all the words that are in the state alphabet? <laughs> uh, every history live in Wana. <laughs> I know what? what question that is. The hell? Uh, what era of history would you want to live in? Yeah. You just put it in alphabetical order for you. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Era history wanna <laughs> live in. <laughs> so okay, so pretty much what that would be is like, uh, pick a decade, pick like a, a moment in, in history um, that you want to live in. Okay, Let's start that timer. All right, who goes first? Who's on first? Who's on first? Um, I would tell you that anything in the 1800s in the U.S. I probably wouldn't want to be around. Yeah, um, I can live where and ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, I would probably just want to live right now. Even with COVID, like, <laughs> like I know what what's going on. I know what I'm dealing with. Yeah, right. I, I get it. Can't walk into the 1950s um, and be like, "This is way worse than I thought." It was dude, honestly, be. though, man, like, I'm pretty excited to just grow up in the 90s. I think now it's pretty cool. Like all this 90s nostalgia now is like what people fantasized about the 80s, you know, or the 70s, and now it's just the 90s again. I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I grew up in the 90s. But, like, to be real, to be a fly on the wall and, like, to see how it was all going down, it's going to probably be through any of, like, like ancient Egypt. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, but cool. also not be, like, making the pyramids, but, so, like, designing them, probably. I think, I that mean, was the aliens, though, bro. The oh. biggest question is, well. are we are we, are we we asking, like, travel back in time? Or, like, you're like, no, I'd, I think I'd be you have born. to, like, live. Live in yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So we can make an amendment. Like, the era you'd want to live in, and then the one that you can just, like, observe and just be there watching how it happened. Mm. I would say maybe, like, see how, like, live, like, 100 years from now to see where we're at. Oh, in the future. Whoa. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe because we're I not mean, even around, dude. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's why I said 100. That'd Who's be, raising you? I mean, I'm going to be 132 or 131 <clears throat> in 100 years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could be, dude. Science is crazy. Yeah, that's true. Even though the national average for it life expectancy yeah, went down an entire year. Yeah, I would probably another one that I would I'm gonna probably flip this that I don't want to be in, right? This is like where you want I would not want to be growing up to this to the point where like I'm seventy years old right now. <laughs> like like right now is like you're like you're <laughs> yeah. like, like 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 you're retired. Yeah, and then this is all happening and you're like <laughs> shit like I'm, i really want to go like you know enjoy my retirement and go have like a dinner out but because like, i'm dying in two years yeah right well and also like covid's out and yeah. so you don't know what's gonna happen yeah that's true it's true I don't so know. anybody like listening to this and you're i feel for you this has got to be like the shittiest thing ever yeah it's like you're finally at that age where you can retire and then you retire and then can't do anything <laughs> It's like, that I can so show bad. you the... Oh, not, not 2020, sorry. Yeah, yeah. not really. Um, 
You know, what's it's it, it is funny. Um, I haven't really. I don't think I've said a response yet. But what I will say is that I agree with Armando when he first said that, like, just living in now, because legit, like, from from now until past, this is the best time to be living. Like, yeah. Yeah. not only not only are we like not in as many conflicts as we would be like a hundred years ago. Right. Like we have. Every, we don't try to kill our neighbors every time. Every chance right. we get. Yeah, and like not only that, like it's also like technology is at its peak. Right. I mean, so not, not at its peak, but it's like it's on it's, this it's on this incline. heavy incline. Yeah. Where I can like we're in a pandemic, but we can also Zoom call like a hundred people and we can make yeah, that yeah. happen. Right. Um, even civil rights is is better than what it used to be thirty years ago. You know, like these like little things. Not to say that it's perfect or that it's great. No. Right. But I mean, we're not getting taken out of our house and being lynched because we're a different color like for sure like there's these things that i would say like yeah like we're, we're living in a perfect time and i love that we complain a lot because it's kind of like we don't realize where, where we've been was, yeah. yeah um but we don't i think, like real shit to complain about sometimes yeah but, but i think if i had to choose like a, like an era that's not now i'd say probably like the 70s i and or, like it's like as, 60s and 70s yeah like. as like a music person like i would pick that too because i think hmm. that was just a huge explosion of like culture of on the music end of it so yeah, yeah i don't know i'd probably pick that like, too like us li- like listening to starboy to heaven for the first time is like legitimately the equivalent of listening to Watt for the first time like for starboy like, for to people. heaven uh, like for, for like 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 people like you know what i'm but you know what i'm saying like, uh, like one's a classic that people are gonna Star love boy to heaven from now starboy Star like the weekend what just kidding you should I do would... a mashup now dude <laughs> starboy Wop. starboy to heaven now it's all starting to sink in i would probably want to be wearing my hat like my artist hat uh in mexico during the 40s and 50s mm-hmm. because there was a big uh muralist movement yeah. during that time which is kind of what i'm trying to like pay homage to with what i'm doing right now nice mm, yeah that'd and be cool. so i think it also asks the question right? like yeah you want to be here in the 60s 70s but here like in the u.s or like you can where, be yeah. anywhere yeah right yeah. so i would want to be in the u.s like when Native Americans like were like legit like the only people here, like it's like the Comanches and and uh, around the Texas area. That yeah, like just like way people. before like the Trail of Tears. Like oh okay, like very much like people. Well, yeah, like, how how much before like before like Christopher Columbus? Oh yeah, discovered one hundred percent, dude. Like or... there's something to be said about not having enough and just actually living. Like I, I feel like we, we we lack that sometimes because we have everything like right at the palm of our hands. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That imagine just like. Your 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 purpose in life is to wake up and not die. <laughs> yeah, all you do is wake up, <laughs> it's like, eat, uh, go find more food to eat, and try and stay alive. Yeah, and right. then go to bed. Else. Yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. just that's that's life. That's and happiness. like not even and like, go to bed. Just like I'm just really tired. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm just like legit <laughs> tired from like looking for food. Yeah, and just like I don't know, man. Like there's less to think about. There's less dimensions to be worried about. Like that'd be so cool just to be like. Well, we found everything here. Let's just move 20 miles that way. You're like, yeah. oh, okay. And then, all right, let's do it. Another thing that'd be really cool about that, maybe not even necessarily, but yeah, that time is to look up at the sky and like not have all the light pollution. And oh, you see, see? What, and then see you all just, the stars And then you just and believe that's like gods and, and like what's out there. Like that's. I mean, oh, they had science so cool. back in the day, G. Well, I mean, no, I'm talking about <laughs> that's just That's just kind of ignorant to assume like <laughs> Native American tribes didn't have science. <laughs> right. No, I mean, now they had science, but they also like. They admired that. They 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 worshipped they, they, they worked their like entire like civilization through that as well. Like that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like no okay. sense of like there was no sense of time. There's no thing of time. Oh, I it see was just saying. like yeah. that and just like looking up, like, oh that'd be so cool. It'd be like camping every day but actually enjoying it. Maybe. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Being like super stressed I mean, out because you don't know what you're gonna eat yeah that too but also <laughs> i enjoy camping so i don't know what you're talking about. no but I'm, i mean do you enjoy camping for like 20 years yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they uh, have stoves okay yeah. man i'm just saying dude it's like kind of living like now man instead of just like being in like i don't know like just a structure that you sleep in is exactly yeah. what your house is now yeah. it's the exact same it's more when you when you open the door, you still go outside, whether it's a house or like a teepee or whatever. Okay, but when you go, oh, here we go. Here we go. It's over. Oh, yeah, it's, it's over. Oh, okay. I didn't hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so looking at the screen. Something's wrong with this headphone, you guys. That's that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, also, Chris. I love how G just gets so riled up, and then he's like, oh, "We're tied." See, at least at least I can stop. Okay, I'm trying to get better at like at seven minutes, just not talk anymore. Shut up, Chris. Okay.
Round three. Chris, what's the third Z? Uh, best music videos that everyone forgets about. I'm so glad this one came up. Yes. I am also glad this one came up because I have very, very strong opinions about music videos. He but doesn't know anything. Doesn't I'll know. let G go first. I got to read this again for all my people that forget everything like me. <laughs> best music videos. Wait. Best music video forgets. That's yeah, we, what... have, we, we have shorthand. <laughs> yeah, we have to shorten everything on Yeah, this we have one. shorthand. <laughs> Um, so I was thinking about this the other day because I was I've been on this kick of like listening to uh, Rolling Stones top 100 albums of all okay. time. Now obviously it's their opinion and some of them I think that's completely wrong. But um, a lot of Beatles on there. There's a lot of there's a lot of hip hop on there, which is actually kind of cool. But uh, the one thing that I was thinking about, I was listening to a song and I was like, dude, this music video was so dope that I forget that there's like these music videos out there that are phenomenal that we just forget. And the one that everyone always goes to is Thriller, which makes sense 100%. But Because it's like 15... It's like a short film now. Right. That's yeah. what Thriller was. It, it was, was a it short... Was, it was a mainstream short film. It was How a about, YouTube short before Yeah, before YouTube, YouTube. YouTube. How about before you even pick one, what to you consists of a good music video? Video. Video. I, I mean, I think there's something memorable. Okay. Um... But like, if it's memorable, how do you forget it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's memorable to G. Yeah. Yeah. He's, like okay, like for example. So we're talking about different. G's favorite music videos that everyone hates. <laughs> right. <laughs> like for example, fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, like Usher's, yeah. Like that one was like, oh, that one was cool because of like the lasers in the back, and it just like had like this cool vibes. But everyone forgets it. Cool vibes. Um. I mean, I don't. For, I mean, if you go, up, nobody's going anywhere right now. But if you were to go to a club. They play those things on the screens everywhere. That's, That's true. So for me, get it. It's forgettable, but it's almost like because it, it was overplayed that I, I mean, kind of want to forget it. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, I guess we can talk we, before we say anything. I guess we can say Chris's opinion about this because he's going to shit all over my, my idea, which why wouldn't he? No, it's not that I'm shitting over your idea. This is a strong belief that I've had for Let's a very it. long time about music videos. Yeah. I think the whole idea of a music video degrades the actual artistic integrity of the song. music itself yeah because no. it turns it from one medium to another mm. so it's basically like cool here's a song and now the song is background to what the music video is there are some music videos that are lyrically identical to sure. things that happen in the video but uh -huh. those aren't really the good ones right the good ones are all the cinematic ones Right. Yeah. That have a okay. story to go along with the music, but at that point, it's like, am I more invested in the music video or am I invested in the song? But, right. And a lot of that time is like, oh, I'm invested in the the video rather than the music. Gotcha. So I don't watch any music videos because I want to keep invested in the songs that I like and not get distracted by the flashing lights and lasers of Seizures. Uh, yeah. But that's also, I mean, that's also why this is like a, a good topic is because like what, which ones make you think about the song and the music video? So I respect everything that has been said, but this takes me to like how people read books and watch movies. And I, I can listen to a song and kind of come up to my own conclusions of what's happening and how I feel. Right. Like yeah. you, it becomes very like about me mm -hmm. and my boyfriend that left me or my girlfriend that cheated on me. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's <laughs> yeah, not what no. happened to me. And um, some people just need to be pushed a little bit further to be like, no, this song is really about my driver's license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so much drama on that song, too. That's great. Wait, I don't which know which one? You, I have no idea. It's called one. Driver's License. It's from this girl who's on the, what's it called? A high school musical, the musical, the series on Disney Plus. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, that's I'm why out. she's famous. That's why she's famous. Gotcha. But, so basically... He has a daughter, by the way, if you guys don't know. He's not... Oh, I also have a separate podcast, 33 and a Third, where we dissect in-depth lyrics of pop culture wow, and pop throwing music. throwing in the plug right away, And huh? also do in-depth album reviews, so please follow that one as well. <laughs> you just wasted 10 seconds, dick. <laughs> Good. Um, but anyway, and she wrote that song about one of her castmates who's now dating someone else. That was all I was trying to say, but you interrupted me. Anyway. Because no one cares. So but, G okay. has yeah... Chris. No, no, no. That's not. That's not. It's not. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like that's like that's one, that I'm, one like, of them. I think about. Yeah. Um, I would say the ones that come to mind. I'm like these are phenomenal ones. Is I'm sorry, Miss Jackson by Outcast. Okay. I fucking love that music video. But I don't like that song. That's okay. I don't care. That's my opinion. Shut See, up. and then it transforms into. Um, do you like the music video? Uh, it's 
just as weird as the song. Yeah, that's fair. I get what you're that and uh, yeah. Kanye West's Runaway. That yeah, one. Well, that whole thing was cool. So cool. Like the whole yeah. thirty minute whatever. Yeah. Chris never saw it. Yeah, I don't want cool. to watch music. It's, videos. It's, <laughs> it's, it's it's worth the watch. Sim, uh, like the the, the the videography and that it's phenomenal and the songs like it, it it follows like that like that aspect of it. But when I think of it, I don't think of that music video. I think of like, oh, Runaway, like that. You know what I mean? I cool. Know. Well, I'm sure nobody's gonna know about this one, and it's not even necessarily a music video, but it's the recording to El Triste by Jose Jose. Yeah. Which was kind of like. It was I like a performance, right? It was like it was a, a, yeah, it was like a the like voice a sh- kind yeah. of thing of like the seventies in Mexico. This mm. is actually pretty oh, yeah. dope. Uh, he showed me a lot of that. Um, You've actually heard it. I was like, what time? What timing is this in? It was like with the oh violins. yeah, 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 I remember. I don't know. There's no music videos that I'm really like. Uh, people forgot about. I what I Bad? think what I think was, I mean, what about Stacy's mom and how everyone got a boner on that that music video? Mm. They're just like, oh look how hot Stacy's mom is when it's a super famous actress. Who was oh. it? I don't can't remember off the top of <laughs> was my it head. Carmen Electra because it sounds like it's Carmen Electra. No, it wasn't. Um, I'll have to look it up. You guys keep talking. I'll look. It I up just I I wish they would bring they being MTV or whoever YouTube wants to do it uh, more behind the scenes of like making the video. I thought that was cool. Yeah, actually, I did remember because that. then that helps me at least understand what or maybe Chris is like coming out to like a front with is like. Why are we even doing this? Well, I think it's also difficult, man, because... It's like marketing, though. It is marketing. It, it definitely yeah. is marketing. But it's also, I think, depending on who's the one that's trying to push the music video, it's kind of like, how are you going to expand your artistic abilities outside of just making music? You know what I mean? Like, I... Yeah. I, like, what's from, the vision? Like, yeah. what are you trying to paint? Like, what is all of this? Yeah. And, and it might be, honestly, it might be a selfish thing, because when you write music, you you put your emotion, you put your personal, like, thoughts into it, but then it expands into something completely outside of what it is. Yeah. But... There's some music. Uh, actually, you know what? River by Leon Bridges. Yeah, that's cool. It's an impactful video. Like it, it, it fits like the tone, and I, I'm just like, dude, this is phenomenal. What I like to do nowadays is I like to watch because I'm a dancer. I like to watch um, dancers come up with their own choreography and make their own yeah, concept yeah. videos out of music because then I know it's at least somebody else's reaction and representation of what of that, what they believe that song is. Yeah. yeah, and they maybe take it somewhere else instead of, I don't know, because I'm sure that there's so many artists too, especially like again 80s 70s 90s when like you know music videos were becoming a thing that there was probably some other like i'm sorry douchebag like, coming in and be like this is what we're gonna do it to your song and the artist is like what the fuck like yeah yeah it's not what the hell i wanted to do like and that's kind of like what i was saying with like how they transform the idea of the song into their own idea right but anyway it was rachel hunter famous uh model that was in sports illustrated and playboy and, stuff, so. hmm. yeah. and that's time hey look at that would you look at the pelican fly? What was I going to say? Uh, oh, I forgot. It doesn't matter. I can't talk about it anymore. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. fine. You can tell me. I, I just forgot. Because for I'm not going to come back unless I'm wanted. Hey, guys, if you really want me to come back to this podcast, go Camera's up there. Well, I'm looking at me because <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Dude, that was so like when we first started doing this, like both of us kept staring at the screen rather than the camera. Of course. You know, me. It's like what we do when you FaceTime, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Jesus. You're like, oh, look at me. Go Ooh. ahead and hit that thumbs up, share, if you like, guys and want, subscribe. If you guys want Armando back, make sure you let make sure you let us know because I think it's going well. Mm-hmm. It's going all right. I'm not yeah. messing up that much. I mean, my confidence is lower and lower each each time we I talk, but <laughs> well, it's uh, fine. Your, your confidence is lower each episode we do because all I do is shit on you. Well, it's just times two now. Is what I'm saying. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Great. Divided by five. Ooh, Ooh, the square root of these Pie. nuts. Yeah. All right. What do we got? The fourth topic? Yeah. Uh, you want G to pick it since you're choosing the last topic? No, you pick it. Oh, because yeah, it's only pick five. It. Wilson, pick it. All right, Wilson. Oh, Wilson pick it's so good, too. Who's Wilson? The volleyball? Yeah, he, he's a great singer. Round four. four. All right. Oh. <laughs> this is dumb. I don't know. Even, I, don't, I can't. Cool. What, what's the next topic hey, there, Armando? Armando, what's the next topic? <laughs> this might be the part of the podcast where you don't say put it. the kids away. Oh. Or you're not oh, driving is it, them. Oh, is it your first boner? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> or you're not driving them to okay. school anymore. So uh, We just put that one in we just I legit just wrote this down from last week and put it in. So, okay, it's not about necessarily your first boner. It's more so about the first time you got that like weird feeling in your stomach and being like, what is going on? Yours starts in your stomach? <laughs> 
like like the butterfly thing, like. Oh, okay. Like you I'm not. You I'm could not, have said the butterfly thing instead of like first boner. I mean, it's so okay. So uh, <sighs> you, can, you can start the timer if you want. Uh, I was kind of hesitant to put this one in there because I wasn't sure what, like what was appropriate. My branding or not. is gonna go to shit after this, I guys. Know, right? <laughs> okay, well let me. Let I'm me, just kidding. Let's go. Let me explain this real quick. So it was it's more science. so. It's more so like the simple fact that like I'm not talking about like your first boner and just like the details of like that. It's more so about like. That like like puberty, like you're hitting puberty for the first time, or right. having like these that like weird awkward time where yeah. you're just like, what is going on? And at first, like I said, I, I didn't want to talk about it because it's just like it's just like a really like voodoo like topic to talk about. But at the end of the day, like it happens to every Did single you person. Say voodoo topic? Yeah. yeah. You mean taboo? Taboo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pen doll yeah. topic. Taboo. It's a voodoo topic. Yeah. <laughs> so fun story. How I got my first boner was a voodoo doll. <laughs> I was that was me. That was me. <laughs> I made it, and it was last week. <laughs> Wait, yeah. how do you have a kid? It's at Benjamin's button. Benjamin don't buttons. worry about it. Logistics are weird. She's adopted. There's a lot of like cartwheels <laughs> involved, and it's fine. All right, so also okay, so I'll start it off that way. You guys oh, cool. have an idea of like, right. where we're going with it. So, <laughs> so I remember Jeez. like the first time I was like, like didn't know that I was turned on, but I was like turned on by something. Uh-huh. Was <laughs> this is gonna be so stupid. I'm glad I'm putting this out there for the world. Was it was a Simpsons episode. Okay, keep Jeez going, furry please. confirmed. And uh it was That's why he knows that name the episode of Yeah, that, the Treehouse the, of the Four. Treehouse of Four. Yeah, that's like I I get off by that, you guys. Just heads up. <laughs> Simpsons movie, greatest movie ever. Right. Um <laughs> It was the episode where like Homer like meets like this coworker that he like starts liking. Okay. And yeah, then just keep going. And then like he like ends up like be, going into a hotel with her, and they like kiss, and like I'm just like, why do I feel like this weird feeling inside of me? Mm. And then it turned, and then the next time it happened was an episode of Growing Pains. God damn, this What's is so Growing weird. Pains. It's a old sitcom. Thing. Okay, I think it was Growing Pains. Is that the one with Leonardo DiCaprio? Like when he was like a kid. No. That's just that's like a metaphor, but okay for yeah. what's happening to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just saw Leonardo DiCaprio and I was like, "What is going on? What um, is happening?" But no, it was uh, it was it was I think it was Growing Pains and like one of the main characters was like trying out for a play and he had to make out with a chick and he made out with the chick and I was like, "Why? What is going on?" That's Feelings. Fair. Yeah. Cool. I definitely congratulations. Think, I definitely think my first like feelings like that were either like jessica rabbit from who framed roger that's rabbit that's actually not the first time i've heard that or like the pink ranger I, that's actually not that's not either not that's yeah, also so, yeah i mean i don't remember the exact moment but i could tell you the story about the first and only time that i wore gym shorts to school <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's for a different that's, time that's we'll, we'll different save topic. that later yeah we'll save that for later so i'm gonna let's see how i what do they call it how i uh flip this how i adopt this topic so let's just put the maybe because maybe the ladies just don't know, right? Or maybe yeah. they think they know, but like, there's also like ladies. Yeah, you go through your own. Yeah, you guys have situation, a rough. right? But guys from like a <laughs> social experiment kind of thing yeah, that some you're weird going through, twisted right? Twisted thing. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Like, it just happens. Like. <laughs> For me, like a lot of this stuff, has a mind of its n- own, none man. of this is like really like how you guys are bringing up like TV like scenarios or shows. For me, it was more like, yeah, you're just, and I can't remember like your first sort of thing, but I remember it happening like you're just <laughs> so like sitting and like, you know, <laughs> social studies. Yeah. And then like. He says Africa and just boom, you're like, boom, boom, you're like, boom, boom, boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what is going on here? And then, yeah. but then you also kind of feel like you have to pee. And then you actually need to go pee. Then somebody like, do you stand up? Do you not stand up? And then yeah, that's very true, <laughs> right? And then guys, I'm sure you all you're all out there. The whole like tuck it into the pants kind of thing. Yep. <laughs> this is in super bad. Yeah, waistband <laughs> or waistband to the belly button. <laughs> Dude, I mean, there's so many times where I'm like riding the bus, where I was like riding the bus to or from school. Yeah, makes and you then... say was not like recently. Like every time I was riding the bus. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> okay. No, it sounded like you said like. Like, still now. Like the oh. city bus? Yeah. Yeah, the city bus. Um, but no, like, there were so many times where I was just, like, sitting there, and then I just, like, it just happens. I'm like, I hope this goes away before right. I get off. Right. All right. That's poor choice of words. Um, <laughs> the bu- but before, the bus. before I have to get up and 
exit oh, the bus. It'll go away when you get off. Uh, right. But yeah, and then the whole time you're thinking about it, which is not making the situation better. It right. Is. And then all of a sudden you like your mind drifts for something, and then you're just like, oh hey, there it goes, dude. But it is crazy how like you don't know how to deal with it, right? Like yeah, you have no idea what's going like, on. Dude, like why is this? What's going? Like what are you doing? <laughs> like stop. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, no, I'm going to stay here for a while. It's, you know, it's exactly like... Big Mouth? It's exactly like Big Mouth. <laughs> the puberty monster just yeah. like... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's... Why for... don't you look at the clock? <laughs> <laughs> that's what all that, like... I don't know. That, that's what that, like, when you say first, it's not really first. It's more like having to deal with it. Like, yeah. yeah. I, well, I guess for me, like I said, I, I just vividly remember, like, watching that and feeling really weird. Yeah. Like, and be like, oh, like, why? Like, this is kind of cool, but also... Why? Do you remember like the, the first time where it happened while you're sleeping? You rolled over and you thought you broke yourself. <laughs> Don't remember no. that, but I know exactly I def- what you're talking I, about. Yeah, I definitely remember that. Like I rolled over and it like made like a pop sound. Mm. It's so yeah, just yeah. a disclosure. Like, we're not. I think I'm broken. We're not that we want to talk about our penises this much. It's just I think it's important for people to understand that you're not the only person that's gone through awkward situations yeah. where, where yeah. your, your thing thing just. Have you ever like poked the inside of your belly button, <laughs> and then your tip of your head starts tingling? Is no. that me? If we're talking about that, no. Just try it. Tell me if it's just me. No, it's definitely know. just you. I think. All right, I'm just wondering. But no, I mean, it, it, I think you're right. It is. <laughs> it is funny. It is funny how like that does happen where you're just like, oh, and and and. and <laughs> <laughs> keep going, G. Yeah, it, keep going, G. But it's also like I, I didn't even think about like the fact like what do women go through that it has to be way worse, dude. Like. I don't, God bless their souls. Like, yeah, I mean, but they're the warriors for sure. I mean, but. I'm pretty sure girls get lady boners. It's just not, yeah, e- exactly one for one. No, and but also but I mean, it doesn't just like stand out. But I, like, I can imagine like them going through. This sounds ter- I mean, I can imagine them going through the first time. Like, for example, they have their period or something. Oh, of course, it's just mm. it's terrifying for, for sure. us. It's just kind of like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you do the whole books. Yeah, you're like no, walking down the hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The this, binder, the, the sweater. The the sweater, you flip it this way. I've never done that. No, you need like a binder or a book or carrying it like this. Yeah, or the <laughs> the waistband. Definitely got to do the waistband. I just Dude. I just I just wore a jock strap that way. It never, it's never over. Sure. It's over. I, God, it's over. Thank I had a story you, it's too, over. but it's alright. <laughs> I hope you, I really hope you guys enjoy that one. Oh God, that was um, so funny. I think that could have been worded a little better, but basically. If you have any awkward experiences, oh my regardless God, yes. if it's any, boners or any not. Any awkward stories about your like getting random boners. It doesn't have to be about that. boners. Just any awkward moments of your life that you didn't know how awkward to puberty. properly deal with. Awkward puberty moments. Please blast those all over the internet for everyone to find for, to, to know. <laughs> to find. <laughs> to find. <laughs> Please don't send us pictures. Please don't send us pictures. <laughs> well, anyway, that brings us to the final topic. And as we usually do when we have a guest over, they get to pick whatever topic they want off the dome. And we will talk about it for 10 minutes. So I'm going to set up the timer. What's the topic you chose to bring in? The topic is... <clears throat> it's, uh, it's Disney movies rated R. Okay. So just talk about like Disney what? movies that have been done already. And just make them rated R? And, and maybe like which one would you like to see rated R? What is it? Deadpool. Final round. So this is actually kind of a, a funny topic. Um, I watched this YouTube channel called Cordo Crew, and they kind of redo a lot of huh. movies in the rated R version. Okay. They just did like oh, a is Harry, the, is Harry a Potter rated R. It's a VFX that, that, company. That's a, dude, they, they're awesome. If you guys, if you've, you've seen these guys, haven't you? I don't think so. They'll, it's pretty funny. They'll have segments where they like like criticize like CGI in movies. Okay. And li- literally just like shit on like terrible CGI. Yeah. yeah. And then like like they'll explain like like every process of it. But yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so they do like rated R versions. And they did, um, going on the Disney movie, they did a rated R version of one of the... uh, Civil War? Yeah, it was Civil War or something. Um, But basically, they were like, uh, Captain America was running at this dude, and he like body checked him with a shield into a car. And they just added sound effects and like broke his body and stuff. It was so funny. Blood splatter everywhere and everything. Yeah, it was great. It's actually pretty awesome. So I guess on that topic, dude... Every single superhero movie. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. needs to be realistic. Okay, but are we talking specifically just Disney, or are we talking like no, anything that Disney? Well, I'm owns? like, Disney's the funniest because it's Disney. Yeah, I'm like, what does Aladdin look like? Like, 
you know, live action rated R movie. Okay, so yeah, so not not like Pixar or like Marvel or Star Wars. Well, well whatever, dude. Yeah, whatever. You're you're it's thinking under too the hard. umbrella. Yeah. I guess we got ten minutes. Which yeah. one? Which one would you like to see? Like, and the reason I went here is because of that new Cruella movie coming out. Mm-hmm. It just looks like a Joker movie. Yeah. Oh sure. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That. So yeah. it's without like having to go too deep into it. So it's like what? And this is also context. I watch movies like that's my hobby. And I have to rewatch them because when I when I watch them once, I don't know what just happened. That's fair. And then I have to do it again. So just from like a movie like fan, st- like this is like what what does this look like? And is should it even happen? Or... Mine mine is Bambi. <clears throat> dude, okay. Bambi so... would be legit, dude. It just shows you the scene just, where just Bambi's just... mom gets murdered. Yeah, dude, I don't know why I, I just, went bow and arrow. I just wanted to be like rated R just for like the first like. The first five minutes, and then after that, it could be like PG thirteen. Oh, dude, how it's brutal! Be that gory, just be like, oh, dude, how brutal would that be if it shows that forest fire scene and just all the animals just fucking melting? <laughs> like, so, that'd be so hardcore. Dude. It's like a there's a YouTube you can make uh, it pretty channel right now quick. called Meat Eaters where they go out. Oh like, yeah, that's actually that channel introduced Joe Rogan to hunting. <laughs> yeah. So firstly, love the channel, but fuck you, dude, for introducing Joe Rogan to hunting because he brings that up on every fucking podcast. Yeah. It's, it's and not, it's annoying. It's as fuck. not DMT anymore. It's <laughs> yeah. hunting. Yeah. It's fine though. Anyway. So that's Bambi rated uh, rated R. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just, Joe Rogan going out there. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Joe Rogan's a hunter. <laughs> Somebody needs to splice that together with Joe Rogan hunting and then Bambi's mom, and then all of a sudden he just shoots. And he's like, Mom? Actually, so, Lion King would be sick, too, Liberated Radar. Our... Yeah? Yeah, dude. But, like, turn it kind of like how they did uh, Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, but, like, dude, that like, would real be... people. That would be dope. And then who plays but, Simba? But just seeing, like, like Mufasa, like, fall off the cliff and, actually, like, hit the ground, dude. It's like, ah! <laughs> just traumatizing as hell. But it would have been better than the movie that came out, like, two yeah. years ago. Yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah, him hitting the ground and getting trampled, like... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that'd be gnarly for that'd sure. That'd be so gnarly. Do you have Do you have one that you thought about? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, what you about brought this topic in? Uh, it, like no Pinocchio. Pinocchio would be kind of interesting. Like speaking of awkward boners, fucking that's Pinocchio's <laughs> nose the entire movie, man. I'm a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like Dumbo when he like gets wasted. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So does Pinocchio. He goes. Oh like, yeah, gets, that's right. Yeah, gets yeah. trashed and like. Uh, Isn't that the sad. same movie? Kind of. Uh, yeah, kind of. Pretty much. I don't know. It kind I of guess is the same. Didn't go that deep. It kind yeah. of is that same movie. Robin Hood would be, I guess Robin Hood's kind of already been done, though, technically. Yeah. Like, but like the... the one with the fox specifically. Yeah. That way, him and Maid Marian. Speaking of first time boners, that one, too. Maid Marian? Yeah. Dude. Like, I'm trying to think, like, was... why is this fox cute? I thought it was a chicken <laughs> that is going. <laughs> why is this fox cute? <laughs> Who does Denzel play, like, in one of these movies? Ooh, dude, I can <laughs> you, see Denzel as Scar in Lion King, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Samuel, oh. Samuel L. Jackson as Simba. Like, uh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> With the hyenas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and then Simba's fucking Samuel L. Jackson. Or Denzel, yeah, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> yeah. I've had it with this motherfucking lion on this motherfucking rock. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Um, but yeah, I'll go back to like, not even like cartoons, but I think if they made superhero movies, like all gritty and realistic, I think that would make all the movies better. I mean, that's what made Logan phenomenal. Right? Yeah. That's what made Logan cool. That's what made Deadpool cool. Yeah. 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 It I just, mean, I mean, it's hard though. How can you, yeah, I don't know. They just, they, maybe they just call it something else. Like, I think maybe Lion King is training day. I think DC yeah, should, could be. DC should have gone that direction. Honestly. I agree. Like the Zack Snyder cut is rated R and I'm so excited to see it just why it's rated R. It's gonna right. be disappointing, dude. Let's be I real. mean it is, but that's not why I want to see it. But, but it still be different. I yeah. mean, I'm just saying if he couldn't make Batman versus Superman great, what expect what makes you think he's gonna make uh the Justice League? Or even Man of Steel. Man of Steel was trash. Yeah, Man of Steel wasn't very good. Really? So, I liked it. It was better than any of the other ones. That's also very true. Return of Superman or whatever. Where yeah. you get shot in the eyeball and yeah. you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I think if they made that movie rated R, we're like, because people like just like we're unloading on Superman and the bullets are bouncing off. How did no one get shot by their own bullet? Like that dude's unloading on him with a minigun or whatever. Yeah. How did one stray bullet not fucking just catch him in the neck or something? So I didn't see, I didn't see the new movie, but Mulan would be sick rated R. That would be dope. That right. actually oh. would be like legit sick. Yeah, like do it like for, and the another 
reason I'm coming to this, like the new Mortal Kombat movie that's coming out. Dude, that's rated gnarly. R. It looks yeah. crazy. Like it yeah. doesn't look like a great movie that you're gonna be like, wow, like this plot, right, and everything. But you're like, this looks like it's gonna be entertaining. Like they're yeah, gonna, definitely. they're gonna put them to their full potential of like. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen that trailer, really... check it out. The Sub Zero scene where he's fighting Scorpion, fucking cuts him, blood flies in the air, and he turns it into a dagger. Mm. Oh my god! I'm like. Yes, I'm gonna watch this movie now. All right, what about Pixar movies? What Pixar movie would be legit rated R? Ooh, like, up. I, <laughs> up. I don't know what happens in Up though. That make it rated or like up. Monsters, Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. would be kind of cool. Yeah, what if they made that's a horror? Yeah, what if they made Monsters Inc. into like a legit horror movie, dude? Would you watch it, G? No. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. I'm already like I'm already concerned about watching the the Doctor Strange movie that they're gonna make into a horror movie. So right, let's yeah, bring it's it not on. gonna be scary. That's it's just gonna be weird. And I know, creepy. but I just still. Yeah, yeah Monsters Inc. into a like a legit horror movie. I'm, I'm sign me up, dude. Yeah, I will definitely see that. Toy Story would be a good horror movie. Toy Story three would be actually Toy Story. That's like the puppeteer. Yeah, yeah. That's some, that's some Chucky's <laughs> child play shit right there, dude. For real, <laughs> it's only that scene where they come alive when they're like with uh, Sid or whatever. Yeah. And they're, I forgot exactly <laughs> what he part. says. Yeah, but so, that part, like real life in real life, dude, that would be crazy. So play. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were on the right path on that one for sure. Yeah, they just yeah. off and off right there. Oh man, yeah. I mean, that's what sucks about Disney too, man. Is that like I understand it is a, a it's very child children based and everything like that. But you can't have like most of your subscribers now are not just children. There, it might be more so like. There's a lot of, like, 30-year-olds that are obsessed with Disney because that's what they grew up with. That's what we grew up with, yeah. I was going to say we, but I'm not obsessed with Disney, so I can't classify myself with that. Yeah, but also, guys, well, I guess a lot of 30-year-olds now have kids, too, so they take them to take their kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I took my daughter to see Deadpool when she was, like, 13, so it was whatever. (laughs) Yeah, and honestly, I think most people people our age will be like, "Ah, that's fine, you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen a titty before. You're you're good. Whoa. (laughs) Jeez. Okay. That's why I have kids, man. And then they get, and then they go back to that awkward boner. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I don't have. Dude, helping them out. Okay. Kind of mixing these two things together for the last topic in this topic. Have you ever been watching, like, as an adult, been watching a movie with your parents, and then there's like a sexy scene in it, and you're, it's like awkward. That was Titanic for me. (laughs) No, but like now. Yeah. You watch Titanic with your mom now? No. No. Oh. I would never watch a movie with my mom. Oh. That's rude. (laughs) No, no, mijo, eso no está bien. Eso no está bien. Eso no es dios, señor. Okay. Sorry, uh, we just kind of joke at it. Like, I think I'd done it with my mom, like, watch a couple of movies like that. They were just like, these pieces of trash. Look at them. They don't even know how to, like, make out or whatever. Like, we're just like, <laughs> like, this ain't real. <laughs> like, this ain't real. Like, yeah. Uh, no, my mom. That's way too much tongue. Yeah. My mom sitting yeah. down. I would have done better. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. <laughs> it's an oral sexing mom. What or she'll do, like the, she'll do, like, that cute thing where, like, she blocks oh, yeah, your yeah, eyes. Like, it's yeah, right it's my right. daughter I mean, does no that. Vest, no vest, no vest, no vest. Dude, my daughter does that to me all the time. No matter what, anytime like uh, an attractive female comes on screen, regardless if it's anything, she always goes like. This. Funny story. Uh, my dad is missing is missing a uh, finger, uh-huh. and so every time that would happen, he'd be like this. <laughs> <laughs> he would let his eyeball through the missing finger. Yeah. For yeah. those of you not watching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Adios. That's yep. it. Oh, that's rated it. That's R. Time. Maybe we'll just have to pitch it to Disney. I think. Yeah, they did say that they're uh, not going to change Deadpool solo movies. They're that's the only rated, rated R, R movie. So. Yeah, that, that's so far the only rated R, R, rated R movie they're going to do. Yeah, so we'll see. Fun. Isn't there another one that's rated R only because it's like they said the F word like more than once? There's like one more I, Disney I movie that's you. been rated R since then. So yeah, but uh, but yeah, that's that was it, you guys. That was. Season two, episode one. Thank you so much, Ramona, for, for tuning in and tuning in, joining us. Yeah, I, tu- I tuned all the way into the studio. There you go. Yeah, you did. I tuned. Well, you tuned in the mic. Yeah. Uh, technically, I did because I'm Chris the producer. Did. G just fucking sits here and stares at me. He's like, I'm it's wrong. wrong. Yeah. Hey, don't yeah, act. Right. Don't act like I'm important, man. I'm here for you guys to shit on me. Okay. <laughs> that's fair. That's. I that's... guess you are the camera guy. You're yeah. the director. Uh, CEO. Oh, you're the wow. CFO. Oh, don't make me in charge of Certified money. engineered opportunity. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for checking us out, guys. And as always, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, subscribe. And if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. And share yeah. it with a friend, honestly. Yeah. Um, please disagree with everything we said. Yeah. Like, Especially and, and, G, and like get, you usually do. And get upset like with us. Don't like, that, like that's it. That's the whole thing of like this is like I know 
I know we're going to upset some people with an Nightmare Before Christmas. It was okay. like the worst of five. Um, I know people are probably going to be... Yeah. <laughs> it's the best of the worst. Yeah. Uh, the whole boner thing probably will catch some people off guard, but, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, let us Just know like you boners. Yeah. Catching people off guard. Aha. 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 Huh? Well. But if yeah. you guys are watching on, on uh, like I said, on, on any podcast as well, make sure you rate it if you can. Uh, and again, share it. Please share you it You forgot with what you're supposed to say. I That's did. Cute. It's been so long. It's been a month and you forgot how to outro. Uh, Armando Ivan Silva Garcia. Sí. De la Torre de las Reyes en el Subio Bajo. <clears throat> Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yeah, man. guys. Uh, happy. When is this coming out? Uh, March 3rd. Happy March 3rd. Happy March Madness. March 4th, 5th, or 6th if you're watching it on the days after that. Yeah. This is like a, a salute from the past into the future. Hope you guys are well, healthy, and have a warm place. Let us know if this is all over. By the time this is aired. All over. Yeah, it's probably not. Yeah, it's probably not. Oh, the, the <laughs> anyway. Bye.